prepping for the delivery of your baby is tough enough without having to stress over what to bring to the hospital and what to leave at home. So today I wanted to share my guide for packing a hospital bag for dads with you. And I'm willing to bet there are a couple things on this list that you haven't thought of yet. So stick with me and let's get packing. All right, to get started, grab your favorite duffel. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to pack are some comfortable clothes. And you wanna make sure you have enough for a three day stay at the hospital, which is the average here in the United States. And you wanna make sure you have enough to make the whole trip instead of having to run back midway through to get an extra t-shirt and leave your partner alone with the baby. Now, comfort is king when it comes to hospital clothes. During delivery, you're gonna spend a lot of time standing bedside, comforting your partner or pacing the halls with them. And Really, you want to throw fashion out the window and make sure you're comfortable so you're better able to support your partner instead of both being tired and fatigued. Now, hospitals tend to get cold, especially in the evening, so make sure you throw in an extra hoodie. For footwear, again, comfort is king here, so throw in the most comfortable pair you own. For me, that was my Hoka running shoes because I wanted the most comfortable fit possible. Next, you're going to want to pack snacks. Now, a lot of hospitals only serve food during select hours, and the last thing you want is for you or your partner to get hungry during the process. It's important to pack a lot of hearty bars and, and good snacks that will keep those energy levels high. And if your wife's anything like mine, it doesn't hurt to throw in a bag of sweets for after delivery to help boost the morale. Next, if you're doing them, you're gonna wanna go find that push present that you've had hidden in the back of your closet or a cabinet somewhere and get it moved into your hospital bag so you have it available to give to your wife or partner after they've delivered your child. Next, we're gonna grab some miscellaneous items. Number one, you're gonna wanna throw in a pair of swim trunks. A lot of hospitals offer soaker tubs for laboring moms to help ease the pain and comfort them. And you might wanna join your partner in the tub, which means you're gonna want a pair of swim trunks to make that a comfortable experience for everyone. It's also nice to have a good pair of pajamas with you. The beds the hospitals give dads are super uncomfortable already, and you don't wanna make it any worse by having to sleep in your street clothes. A nice pair of pajamas can make what little sleep you're going to get that much more restful and help you through the whole process. You're also gonna wanna throw in an iPad or a tablet because believe it or not, you are going to have a little bit of downtime while you're in the hospital. And an iPad is a great way to catch up on that Netflix show you've been watching or read a book. On top of that, it's a great tool for FaceTiming those super eager grandparents who just can't wait to meet their new grandchild. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you throw in a pair of headphones so that when you're catching up on that Netflix show or, or watching a YouTube video, you're not disturbing your partner and ruining their chance to catch a little rest. Next, throw in a power strip and an extension cord. A lot of hospitals have really terrible outlet situations and the worst thing is not having a way to charge your devices while you sleep or in the hospital room. Having a power strip and an extension cord means you'll have the power you need, where you need it, when you need it, and it's an absolute must in your hospital bag. And finally, you may wanna throw in one or two newborn onesies for your newest member of your family. Now, I know a lot of wives tend to have the outfits picked out and have you know a color coordinating scheme, and I get that. But if you wanna take something off her plate and pack those outfits yourself in your bag, I say go for it. And finally, make sure you pack all of your toiletries, including body wash and shampoo. Now, I know most hospitals have that available to you, but if we're being honest, their products are terrible. And the creature comfort of having your own shampoo and body wash when you take a shower to help bring you back to life and make you feel human again is really invaluable. And I think it's well worth lugging those products in your bag to the hospital. Now, those are obviously all a lot of products you do need to bring, but there are also some products you probably shouldn't bring to the hospital. First one being, you know, creams, diaper creams. The hospital is gonna have this available to you. Same goes for newborn diapers and wipes. The hospital has all this waiting for you in the room when you deliver. You don't need to bring it. It's not worth your time to bring Hero. On top of that, you don't need to bring a water bottle or a coffee cup or anything like that. A lot of hospitals will give both mom and dad a reusable water cup during their labor and delivery. And this is just gonna take up space and never get used in your bag. Leave it at home use what the hospital gives you. Now, a little bit on logistics. You're gonna to wanna to pack your hospital bag at week 32 of pregnancy, because beyond that, you know, delivery, honestly, it could be at any time. You wanna make sure you pack in advance because the last thing you wanna be doing is trying to frantically pack your bag while your wife is going into labor in the middle of the night. It's a terrible situation. You're gonna forget stuff, pack early, and make sure you're ready. 
All right, that is all I have for you today. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video for more content like this for young families. I'll see you guys in the next one.